Good morning. This is going to be a tour of my vegetable garden, but we're going to start out in the front yard and show some flowers and things that are out front first. Ginger's Rose Garden. Looking great. She put these flowers in and they all have personal meaning for her. This one was given to her by her sister, who's now in a nursing home. She has little flowers growing this way so that the squirrels can't get in there and dig them up. That works great. It's a great, by the way, it looks like. And over here, we've got some vegetable plants. This squash and this squash were thinned out of my garden a couple of days ago and they're going to be replayed, put someplace else. And here's some sweet potatoes that I have to find another spot for. Ginger's raising some eggplants, I think. And I got a ukulele that I'm mailing. Postman will come and pick this up. And that is a pretty good way to ship something. Just have them come pick it up. It's a beautiful day today. It's going to be hot. We get very few days on the mountain that the temperatures get 90 degrees. But this may be one of them. Several weeks ago, I went through my garden and sang a song. I really didn't have much time to talk about the different plants. But today I will. Our garden may look a little disheveled and unkempt because we mulch it very thickly. But that mulch is what gives great organic content to the ground and is a secret for us to grow stuff. We've got flowers coming up here in the border. Two eggplants here. And Ginger had the nerve to plant okra in my garden. I do not like okra. Tomatoes are looking super fine. Really good. Really good. This is a little one that... These two here I killed, and then this one I, is a replant. We've got a couple of green pepper plants. This is where we harvested our turnip greens yesterday and put in sweet potatoes. We obviously like sweet potatoes, pumpkins, and squash. Here are our pumpkins. There should be 10 plants, and these plants will cover half of the entire garden. Our squash are looking great. These are summer squash. Oh, ho, oh, oh. ho. We will have, I think there is a squash right there. Ginger will be excited to see that. That is a squash and we'll eat it in about, there's another one. We'll be eating that very soon. So those are the summer squash. And here are the winter squash. We do love winter squash, pumpkins, and summer squash too. Our flower garden is a little past peak. Now we still have... Well, we've got 
got lots, lots, and lots, and lots of stuff in here. Some of which is supposed to be in here, and some which is not. <laughs> but this garden is magical and very beautiful. Here's the rest of our yard. Looking really nice. I think everything is green. We really need some rain. We have put another garden in over here, a flower garden. This was just an area that had no use whatsoever, so we threw some wildflower seed in here. And up until a few days ago, we actually had some flowers in here. Now it's beginning to look like a jungle. I think this is, well, who knows? It looks like some kind of weed. But they have a right to live too. The main item here is this wisteria. We really like wisteria trees. And we're going to train this wisteria to be about 10 feet tall and to be a tree. And that will take up most of this space right here. Another garden we put in last year. Not much happening here. We do have a dogwood tree though. And this is what we're really counting on right there, that dogwood tree. So that's our garden today. Thanks for watching.